Hello folks, I'm a bit behind, but this game has just begun. Blue's Energy versus Horace Stapleton. Blue's Energy is a known game, a bit of a ladder fiend. Recently broke the ELO world record, I believe, using slacking. Currently with a aggressive smeagol lead doing some stuff. Always liked the sub smeagol. Sub smeagol's interesting. You can sub down to a berry. Defeat other sleep leads, etc. And Smeagol's managed to make three spikes. I mean, honestly, that's enough to probably carry Blue's energy to victory here. That's incredibly advantageous. Usually Smeagol is threatened. It's frail. You can get something in. It's going to spore. It's going to spike at least once. But then it often can't get much done after that. But this Smeagol is still alive and it made three spikes. That's pretty outstanding. I mean, that's pretty excellent. Come on. We've got Weezing from Horace Stapleton. Great Pokemon. May have Will-O-Wisp or something to threaten this Tyranitar. It indeed Will-O-Wisps on Smeagol. Now, I've seen Blue's Energy use Transform Smeagol, so that'd be crazy if that came out here and we saw Smeagol transform into a Weezing. What did I tell you, folks? What did I tell you? I know this guy, he's, he's, he's a bit of an insane person, we've got Transform Weezing, is the Weezing now going to blow up on the enemy Weezing? You never know what you're going to see in these games, this is insane. In comes Salamence, it's probably going to blow up. Oh, Pain Split? The, the value is in, you've healed up your Transformed Smeagol. Smeagol's never gotten more value than this. Smeagol usually is expendable. It spores, it spikes, it dies. This Smeagol is living a long life. This might be the most... Might be the oldest Smeagol. Known. This is insane. And this Salamence is asleep. I don't think... I don't know if it's advisable to stay in on this. You are burning the turns. That's... True. That Smeagol was actually quite passive. It's a good opportunity to burn sleep turns. No problem, Horace Stapleton. I support it. But now you have to think about your subsequent plans. Have you got a spinner? Have you got spike immunities? This could be Superman, honestly, with Salamence wheezing. It could be Superman, who knows? Celebi's uncharacteristic, but stranger things have happened. I suppose. Give me some good news, Blue's Energy. In the back, I'm thinking Blue's Energy may have something like Aerodactyl. It's an aggressive team. Aggressive Spikes team, Aerodactyl, would be a perfect fit. Could be a Gengar for, for spin blocking. Endeavor Swampert makes a lot of sense. This is a Swampert set that uses a Salak Berry, substitutes down to the Berry, then uses Endeavor. And has a lot of special attack as well. This is just... This is absolutely destroying this... This Swampert is about to probably clean things up very easily. In comes Regice. I mean, Horace Stapleton is running a pretty spike-weak looking squad with no spinner. It's not great. Smeagol has made three spikes. Yeah, ma I guess the spike control is Magneton, which is effective against Skarmory. Denies the spikes to at least one. At most one. But when it's Smeagol, it becomes a problem. Even substitutes in the face of the Magneton. Magneton could have HP grass, could have been faster. Blue's energy lacks any sort of fear whatsoever. Goes for the damn sub in the face of Magneton on the protect. Now achieving even further value than he was even thought possible. Goes for a sub, probably expecting a wake up into an HP grass. It's actually a... It still looks to be a physical Salamence. That makes a lot of sense alongside Magneton, of course. Interesting team comp from Horace Stapleton with Red Gice on physical offense. I've never seen that, but... I uh, suppose it could work. I do feel like you might as well run Snorlax if you're entering Magneton, but... Red Gice has its advantages too, folks. Has stuff like T-Wave. Uh, Step Ice Beam. Could be good. I mean, this Swampert is about to simply clean up. The Red Jace is going to get a Devid, or honestly, probably gets KO'd by Torrent Surf at this point. If we're being entirely honest with, with one another. 
Well, after Sand, that's gone. I think Weezing and Magneton are both gone. And what's the last for Horace Stapleton? Probably a Tyranitar or something. Some sort of physical threat. This is... This is... This is more than dead. It's all over. I didn't mention it, folks, but these pit for these players are playing live. This is not a replay. I've managed to catch this one live. Blue's Energy says GG in the chat. Have we got a game too? They're, they're going to be deliberating, deciding on what teams to bring for game two. An incredible showing from Blue's Energy. Horace Stapleton with, honestly, as far as uh, novel new player teams go, I don't hate this. We got some sort of a structure. Weezing is a physical wall. Red Ice is a special wall. I don't think you probably need a rock resist. But there's, you know, Mag, Celebi, Salamence. That's a good combo. I think you could... Perhaps run something a bit more structurally solid. But you're on the right track. Alright, here's game two, folks. And we have the signature slacking on the field. What more can be said? I will say Foratrus is a terrible lead matchup. Are we going to see a Magneton come in here? Will Horus Stapleton Earthquake the Magneton? I'll be honest, if it was Jim playing, I might just click Earthquake out right here. I don't know if Blue's Energy will go straight to Magneton. It might be too obvious. We'll see what it, how this one plays out. Blue's Energy furious right now at the Foratrus lead matchup. How could you have prepared for slacking here? I don't think this is a lead matchup I have ever seen before, I'm going to be honest. I do not think I've ever seen Slacking versus Foratress. Both, I mean, Foratress is uncommon. Slacking is definitely on. Goes for the damn punch, and that's 76%. That's crazy. Foratress with a simple spike, I mean, honestly. Of course it's Blastoise. Of course Blastoise is coming out. I'm, I'm lost for words. Blastoise, folks, is not very good. It's outclassed by Stami, who is a bit of bulky spinner, water type, and has recovered T-Wave, natural cure. I don't know what Blastoise has to offer. But here's Blue's. Blue's energy must have a reason. Blue's energy is not some nobody. Blue's energy is pretty good, but... The, the Bla I, I'm trying to think of what Blastoise does. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's epic. I'll, I will say that. It's epic. It's got cannons on its turtle shell. No one will ever tell you that Blastoise is not epic, but... Her insane spin block from Horace Stapleton. We love to see it. Are we going to see a Pursuit Tyranitar from Blue's Energy? That would be... That would make sense alongside Blastoise. I'll, it goes for the... I respect that so much going for that punch. I'm so sorry it didn't pan out. But trying to punch an incoming Tyranitar... Blast Blue's energy staying in is almost crazier. Staying in in the face of Gengar. Potentially inviting a Thunderbolt. I don't even... I can't even explain some things in life. This is crazy. Gengar, I assume, would have Explosion alongside Focus Punch, but... I'm not gonna make any sweeping statements. Goes for a Will-O-Wisp in the face of this Blissey. You could Focus Punch and try to catch it healing or something. This is an exciting one. Another Regice. Regice is immune to freeze. So that Ice Beam freeze is never happening. Goes for an Ice Beam against the Blissey, which makes a bit of sense. It was burned. T-Wave is hard to click there. Would have been insane to T-Wave this on the way in there. Blue's energy, honestly, not in a great spot. We have to be honest with each other. Blue's energy is looking, it's looking dire. I think this is the team that he's been doing well with on the ladder, but... I, I gotta ask, how are you doing well with such a team? This... I'll never question him. But... It raises many questions, you have to admit. Some things are inexplainable. And Regice could have super power to hit this Blissey. That would be novel. 
Horace Stapleton has shown a proclivity towards novelty. Regice, yeah, has Thunderbolt for this Skarmory. Honestly, Regice is causing Blue's energy a lot of problems. Blissey can come back in. It's taken spikes and a stab ice beam. T-Wave, I think, was a good move because this could now disrupt the Blissey's healing, potentially. Goes for a Thunderbolt expecting maybe a Jirachi or a Blastoise to come in on Ice Beam. Wants to do a bit more damage. But Blissey will obviously try and heal here if it can. I assume Blues will go for another heal. Yes, you gotta heal that Blissey, otherwise it's taken way too much after spikes next time. In comes Blastoise. Of course. Blastoise could try and surf the incoming Gengar this time. Horace Stapleton in an awkward position, but so is Blue's energy, honestly. Three spikes are on the field, and it's a non-guaranteed rapid spin. Goes for the spin. Horace goes in a different direction, and now Blue's energy has stabilized. I can't believe it. I think Horus maybe should have gone to Gengar, but honestly, it's a it's a t it's a rough game we play. The Blastoise could have surfed Gengar on the way in. Gengar's quite low at the moment. It's a dangerous gambit. It's a dangerous situation. Blastoise has Roar. And you've invited in Gengar. Gengar getting some crucial chip heal. Every little bit adds up when you need to spin block. Fortress hopefully can remake the spikes. We'll see how this goes. Blastoise opting to stay in and trade with Gengar. Are we going to see a full power? No, Gengar's dropped. Blastoise dangerously low. I don't know if this can ever spin again, to be honest. It's very low and it's paralyzed, but... You've eliminated Gengar, so no more spin blocking. No more blocking rapid spin. Foratrus should probably just attack this. I think if you eliminate the spinner, you're in a great spot. I think I agree with that. That play from Horus. And now you're in a good spot against Skarmory. Foratrus can spike here. Rapid spin Skarm spikes away. I don't think Blue's energy has a spin blocker. Although, <laughs> I almost don't want to make any sweeping statements. Anything could happen. We got Dusclops in the back for no reason or something. It's Refresh on Blastoise, but I don't know if that... That's crazy, by the way, but I'm pretty sure Blastoise is out of the picture right now. Horus is playing this well. That's a good HP bug. Get rid of the Blastoise. Blue's Energy, of course, is an entry point for slacking now, if... Slacking goes for a focus punch. It's all over. Horus lives the damn. Went for an HP bug predicting a focus punch, I think. That would have stopped a focus punch. And now Slacking is locked into double edge. Does Horus have another? Okay, even though this has looked great for Horus so far, now Slacking is a massive threat. I'm pretty sure Foratress is the only normal resistance. That being said, Slacking is now has to truant. And it's extremely low, and two spikes are up. So, but Salamis did live that double edge after the Intimidate. It goes for Earthquake. And Flygon last is just obvious. Everyone was thinking it. Just kidding, what the heck. Insane. Going toxic on the, on the, for, on the Fari. It's of course Fire Blast, but... I think you've got to be happy with that furry. It's made two spikes. It lived much longer than you probably anticipated. And this is intriguing though, because Blues can still get a last hurrah out of the slacking, but it's so low, it's going to die to recoil very quickly. But if slacking's down, where is Blues Energy's offense at? I don't think Blues Energy has any steam left. This is all in on slacking. To apply offensive pressure. And Horace Stapleton has managed to weather the storm. Take care of the slacking mostly. 
Establish spikes on the field, put Blue's energy in a bit of a rough patch. This is a rare sandless game also. Worth noting. Horace Stapleton with the signature wheezing once again. The signature Horace Stapleton wheezing classic. And known combination. This is the first time I've seen Horace Stapleton. I want to make that clear. Maybe people will take me seriously there. But Horace Stapleton establishing an identity for themselves with the, with the classic Reg Ice wheezing combination. Hound Doom for the fans at home. Wait a moment. Hound Doom is really threatening everything here. I mean, Flygon can come in. Blissey can come in. But if this is beat up Hound Doom, beat up Hound Doom is about to cause problems. And it's Wisp Hound Doom. Flygon is no longer safe. Wisp is an amazing click right here. Wisp is good no matter what happens. I'm loving this Wisp situation. You Wisp this Blissey is not bad. Oh damn, you missed Fire Blast. That would have been pretty good damage. But that's okay. I do wonder if this has beat up. I don't know if it has enough slots. I think you need Pursuit. You need probably HP Grass. I guess you could go without if you had to. Ups to Wisp anyway. It's Carmine Blissey, but it's burned. So Blue's Energy does in fact have another win condition in in Carmine Blissey. But okay. Wheezing was threatening explode there. That's why Blue's Energy just went out to Skarmory in case Horus went for an explode. But a sludge bomb was almost more sensible. It does good damage to Blissey. It's not as committal. Pretty even on the spike situation. I, I think Carmine Blissey could become a problem. This is so back and forth. This is back and forth like nothing else. Horus is going to have problems threatening this Blissey. I think Weezing is going to do good damage with the Sludge Bomb. I don't know if you should have paralyzed it. Now it can. Uh, now it can't get burned or poisoned by Sludge Bomb. You, you should not be attacking it with Red Ice. You're not going to deal nearly enough. Are you trying to set up for an explosion with Red Ice into a wheezing follow-up? Now, this this is a juicy Pain Split, I will say. Pain Split's going to fully heal you and deal. Put Blissey really low. I think you're running Pain Split. Yes. It was enough to even force out Blissey, which is great. So the wheezing is going to be great against Blissey going forward. It's weird that we've got this kind of slow-paced endgame here with two teams that are extremely aggressive looking. It's just a weird, weird versus weird matchup, so this kind of thing can happen. If there was like an arrow or something, it would be forcing progress, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Salamence. Not long for this world. It's taking... Taking a drill pack. Bit of a red ice entry point. This Red Gias is under a lot of pressure as well. Not really walling anything from Blue's Energy. Blue's Energy lacks special threats. I think Red Gias might opt to explode. Horace Stapleton biding his time. Not, not pulling the trigger on explode for years and years. Just ice beaming into this Blissey. Saying, will I do it? Will I not do it? You don't know. Maybe now is the time. If you go for it, Blue's Energy is not expecting it. They went out to Scum last time. They did it at the time before. This time, Blue's Energy's in a false sense of comfort. You blow up on this Blissey. You do it. You go for it. It's a Wild West showdown. They're staring each other in the face. Will I blow up? Will I not? You don't know. I feel like Blue's Energy... We'll want to heal here or something. Does heal. Red Ice. Blows up. I knew it. Amazing. Amazing. Bring in Salamence. You go, it's got to be Salamence. I think Weezing's too slow. Or maybe you creeped for Blissey. You did. Leftovers happened first on Weezing. That means Weezing is faster. Threatening a Sludge Bomb. I love that patient... Explosion. Right at the end. And this is a Wisp situation. This Weezing is about to clear. Get Wisped? 
this wheezing is about to go insane. That was a good outcome. You don't want Houndoom to get roared in there and take spikes. Honest, could this Salamis just sit and Dragon Dance? What is a minus one burned drill pack doing? 4%? I think Salamence can Dragon Dance, to be honest. And if Skarm clicks raw, so be it. You get Houndoom in, worst case. Houndoom can clear now that Blissey's low enough. I think Dragon Dance is the play. Assuming this is a Dragon Dance Salamence of some kind. Ops to go Weezing instead, that's fine. That's fine. Probably going to click Wisp. I think Horus has this. I believe Horus has this. Just based on this Skarm under fire from, from all sides. You can honestly go Salamence and Tim this. Heal up your Salamence with Chip Heal. I think you're going to chip heal more than the Skarm can deal with leftover, deal with uh, Drill Pack, to be honest. Weezing can just sit here and haze. This might take a while, folks. Forgive me. We're in real time. How are you guys? How's everybody doing? You're playing the DLC? How about that teacup Pokemon that came out? That was a real treat. We got, I think, yeah, Horus is just going to sit and click haze for a hundred years here. As Skarmory slowly withers away to the burn. A tragic situation for many people. How about this? How about it? Man, the, to be honest, the defensive wheezing is really random on this aggro spike squad. But the matchup couldn't have been more perfect, I feel like. The Weezing is absolutely carrying this one. Sandless. So it can chip heal freely. Pain Split. Threatening Blissey. Wisp threatening everything else. Sometimes in, in Pokemon you, you find these awkward situations where there's a way to win very very slowly and all you can do is sort of just click the same thing repeatedly as it happens very very slowly this is the nature of the beast after this blues will get a one more okay just go slacking on the haze that's fair actually that's fair i was about to say after scum dies to burn slacking gets another entry point now slacking can get one last big double edge in Probably KO something. Can Blue's energy possibly make this happen? I mean, if you if you save Weezing here, you're always good. I say you save Houndoom. Or Salamence. Probably Salamence, actually. It's lower. But then again, Salamence is spike immune. It's a weird one. I think you sack... I think you sack... Um... Would you don't sack Weezing? That's your most important guy. After all that work, you've thrown away your entire... What's what's up with that? Horus, you were doing so good. That was your best Pokemon. Nothing could beat it. Horus, it's all going up in flames. Horus, what have you done? <laughs> oh, no. Insane Dragon Dance, but to, to, to what end? You're, you're gonna die to poison. How could you have sacked Weezing? What did you think was going to happen? I mean... Something's dying there no matter what. There's no mind game. You just have a binary... You have a choice of which Pokemon on your team dies. That's your choice. And it should not be Weezing. It should be Salamence or Houndoom. For certain. Probably Salamence, I think, because Houndoom matches up into Rachi. Weezing was literally immune to Flygon's Toxic, immune to its Levitate, you just Wisp everything. Oh my gosh. Horus. 
I'll give you props for how you played that with the reg ice, biding your time, exploding at the perfect turn. You even... Blue's Energy is currently the highest ELO rated player of all time, I think. So you out mind gamed Blue's Energy, that's very impressive. With the reg ice. And you actually were playing this endgame extremely well. With the hazing into the Skarmory, it was just dying to burn. Nothing to be done. Slacking was gone after the next spikes or the double-edged recoil. All you had to do was sack something else. I think you had this. That's unfortunate. You had it in the palm of your hand. And it slipped away. But good showing anyway. You, you fumbled it at the end, but I'm impressed anyway. I guess we'll leave it at that. That's a bit of a tragedy. <laughs> but well played to both gamers. Thank you to the patrons for your continued support. Become a patron to appear on this outstanding end screen alongside your favorite Pokemon. Thank you as well to everyone who has donated to the prize pool for ADV Revival. We are already at over $2,400, which is fantastic. If you'd like to donate, the link is down below. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 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 the money got big, big.